Survivors of clergy abuse are imploring all 50 state attorneys general in the country to investigate the Catholic Church over priest sex abuse allegations. And we wanted to know if Utah Attorney General Sean Reyes' office is doing that. For that more information, we turn to culture and religion correspondent Andrew Reeser, who is live at the Cathedral of the Madeline in downtown Salt Lake City. Andrew. Well, Saray, the state attorney general's office does not comment on open investigations, but they did tell me that stopping clergy abuse in the Catholic Church and all other faiths here in Utah is one of their top priorities. 19 Utah Catholic priests and clergymen living and dead have been confirmed by the Catholic Diocese of Salt Lake City to have been accused or convicted of sexual abuse in the last 50 years. But is that all? I, I'm not aware of any other names than those that you're referring to. Leo Lucy is the chief of investigations at the Utah Attorney General's office and says the AG won't conduct a witch hunt, but he says they'll look into credible allegations of abuse if they get them. For us to open a case, we'd have to have a complaint and uh, somebody that allegedly committed a crime and, and a location, and then we would, we would initiate um, our process from there. Right now, at least 15 state attorneys general have announced investigations into the Catholic Church. Utah, though, hasn't gone public. And the local Catholic diocese says it is not aware of any inquiries from the Utah AG's office. But SNAP, or the Survivors Network of Those Abused by Priests, says Utahns should flood Attorney General Sean Reyes' office with letters asking for an independent investigation. Utah SNAP official Judy Larson was raped by a priest in Michigan in 1957. There's a pattern of cover-up, of moving these predators around, of not believing the victims, of silencing the victims. But Lucy says the AG's office is always seeking new information and tips, even for abuse allegations against members and leaders of the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints, the state's largest faith. The um, religious affiliation make no difference on the process we would use to initiate or look into an allegation that is brought to us. Now, the state attorney general's office says if you or someone you love has been harmed by a clergy member of any faith, you can call the number on your screen, that number 1-855-323-3237. We're live in Salt Lake City, Andrew Reeser, ABC4 News.